Hi, I'm Jay Marks, a business writer with the Oklahoma to News OK, and I'm here today with Brian Brewerd, the uh, founder of a Jinx-based company called Check6. It's one of the fastest growing companies in the country. Brian, tell me a little bit about your company. Well, um, actually our company kind of got started by accident. My, my background's been in naval aviation and, and uh, flew for the Air National Guard for a while and then ended up flying for uh, FedEx for, for a number of years. but. About five years ago, I received a phone call from a deep water drilling engineer, and he'd been reading a white paper from the University of Aberdeen, Scotland, that was uh, dealing with improvements in drilling safety and performance, uh, both offshore and onshore around the world. And it basically made two points. It said that the drilling industry would be well served if it applied the best practices as demonstrated on aircraft carriers and space and commercial aviation. Um, the other part of that was if you had fighter pilots and astronauts teaching that curriculum, it would, it would uh, make drilling operations more predictable, safer, and, and make the process itself less expensive. Now, how did the kind of advanced training you get to be a, a military pilot, especially a fighter pilot? How does that carry over to, to uh, a drilling rig? Well, it's interestingly enough, my, my experience was on drilling rigs before I had ever been on an aircraft carrier. And the first time I was on an aircraft carrier, I landed on it. And, but the thing that was interesting about it to me was that you have an aircraft carrier of 5,000 people. Um, and that's the only difference in, in scale between a drilling rig and an aircraft carrier. The demographic of people is exactly the same. It's basically humans working with technology. Uh, the only difference is, is that an aircraft carrier, you've got 5,000 people. There's a, a huge turnover from one deployment of six months till a year and a half later when that same element deploys again. You can have 70, 80 percent turnover in personnel. Uh, but you have to operate at such a precise level uh, is really the difference between the two. And how have you gone about finding other people with the same kind of background that, that you've got to, to provide this kind of training to, to improve safety on, on well sites? Well, it's actually quite simple. When you spend a career, in my case, is 21 years, and uh, the privilege of doing it in military service was um, the, the folks I found around me that flew fighter aircraft were the kind of people that could do anything in life, doctors, lawyers, and a lot of them moved on to do that exact same thing. And some of them within Check Six, they do that as part of their side job as well. They're doctors, lawyers, uh, professionals in a multitude of different disciplines. Um, so that's basically the cadre from which we pick. So it's it, from that. There's a technology similarity. There's a human similarity, and then there's the consequence of unplanned or unforeseen consequences to less than professional behavior on, on a rig or an aircraft carrier. It results in massive explosions, uh, threat to life and limb, and, and of course the economic consequence of burning down rigs or the environmental one of uncontrolled discharge of petroleum products in either the, the sea or on land. What has enabled your company to grow like it has over the last few years? Uh, I, I think it, it comes down to the, uh, the consequence of bringing us on board uh, the various uh, drilling contractors and the oil operators that bring us on board to bring them a part of their team. It, it, uh, it defines and improves uh, professional culture that already exists for the most part, but we kind of take it to a higher level. Um, we uh, and, and the the talents of the people that we have um, it for us personally we appreciate and enjoy working with that caliber caliber of people mm -hmm. to begin with but we also like bringing with us processes that we know work solutions that have been tested uh, so we cut to the chase and improve efficiency and safety in a very short period of time so that's probably the biggest reason, our people, and then the consequence of our people training up these drilling crews on the rigs themselves uh, in a very short period of time has a bottom line effect, um, both on the fiscal side, but the safety consequence of it 
results in improvement all the way around. That sounds great. I appreciate you coming in and sharing your experiences with us. Well, thank you very much. Thank you. It's a real pleasure, Jay. Very good. Thanks.